Guys, I recently showed the Baja Pro X 2.2 inserts and the Rift bouncing it around. Those were the 40 millimeter wide ones. These are the 35 millimeter wide ones right here and they're on some brand new wheels I got off of Amazon. 35 millimeter wide. We're gonna crawl with them because that was a question I got. Are they good for crawling? We're gonna find out in this video right here. Now, these also fit the trenchers. I'm gonna show that to you on the table. Take it out for this crawl. Let's go. And here we have the insert. Now the difference between the 40 and the 35 like you see right here is all in this right here. So the 40 just has less angle. So uh, that way it kind of fits on the wheel a little bit better. You get things over. So uh, Pro X 35s. Now this is them mounted. You see right here the profile looks pretty decent. Okay, there is very, very little right here. Very little slop. And that was a big thing I'm trying to do here, trying to get the slop out of it. So um, as far as I'm crawling, I think uh, the way these are set, now these are actually supposed to be the, so the super soft, but they're not, not with this carcass. So it's, it's going to take a good eight, nine pound truck, I think, to really make these work. So um, I'd have to really do a lot of work to make this softer, believe it or not. So it's way too easy to make them stiff, put it that way. This is the insert in the trencher. Now, when you pull this one all the way down, also very, very light, if anything, right here. They fit really nice, got a great profile to them. So I also have the landmines by J Concepts. J Concepts tires tend to be a little bit taller or a little bit more larger inside. And we're going to see that right here. Well, then in this one right here, it actually does have a little bit more slop right here. Like this right here, that actually is not touching. Well, it touches when they push it in. And in most cases, that is not an issue. It will add to the softness of it. So this will probably be a lot better for crawling, even with that. But to make a proper insert, I'd have to add about four millimeters overall to the diameter to fit this. But if you guys are interested in this, and if you want to do crawling with these tires and all that, I think these would actually be really nice in here. And I may end up trying that a little bit later. But uh, for right now, let's get back to these big guys right here on the Thor. Now, Thor is a rift axle portal truck, okay? So it's got a whole lot of here. I did do a little bit of shaving on the knuckles. Did that a little bit a while back to make sure. Now, these wheels, they actually bring it in tight. So... It's not super wide. All the link ends and all are about wore out on this poor thing, but we're ready to take this thing outside. Um, as far as power goes, it has an older version, or actually, no, this is a, a Crawlmaster Mini V2 ESC, 35 kg servo, the $65 transmission from Amazon, uh, Holmes SHV 800 servos front and back, and that's pretty much it. Let's go. Oh man, oh man. Look at my pipes over there. I'm gonna clean this mess up. All right, so I'm thinking we got a good crawl gonna happen here. One of the things that I'm liking about these wheels is the offset. They don't widen this thing up and you figure this thing is on rift axles, portal axles, all that. So it's kind of crazy wide to begin with and this is actually gonna help it. I gotta remember that I have dig on here too, so I gotta make sure I use that effectively. Now, I'm gonna get into some situations, make these tires conform. Let's see. There's some dig action right there. Wow, okay, okay, yeah, I'm definitely seeing some conformation. <laughs> conformation, conformation. Now, one thing I forgot to say on the table, the chassis, this is a Spare Time Hobbies uh, Whiskey V1 chassis that's modified a little bit. So it's actually pretty good. Yeah, these, yeah, these, in, these inserts are fine for crawling. Look at that. Look at that action right there. All right, so I got to get, uh, I think I pushed some buttons here crab this thing over a little bit right here all right now i'm going to crab it back around and go for front steer only a little dig action oh i didn't make it 
I probably should have kept it in four wheel steer. Let's get back to that. Old GT3C radio, man. Man, when these things were hacked, they were everything. Well, now it seems like some of the radios are actually caught up to them on, you know, usable features because like, you know, momentary this, um, the four wheel steer controls. I mean, the only, the only thing that rivals this on four wheel steer controls in crawling is the Radiolink RC8X. That's the only thing that I have found to date that can rival this radio in four wheel steer controls. Because, you know, I drive one handed, so I gotta have my mixes and everything is connected here. Typically, this right here is set up for the, uh, like the crab and four wheel steer, but since this has dig, I have it set up a little bit differently. And I wanna try this new line real quick. The way the sun is shining, we should be able to see a lot of these tires work right here. Should be able to see this. Zero tire roll. You can actually see a little bit on the back side conforming beautifully back there. Right here, we're gonna see the tire conforming, getting a nice hook right there. I really should have crab steered it. The back kind of fell off a little bit. We're just gonna go straight and see if I can make the pull. Look at that. Nice job, oh, it slipped off. We get back in a little bit better here. Tires seem like they're working pretty good. I think I'm gonna have to crab steer this wide beast over. Get that back tire to come on the inside of that point right there. There we go. Just like that. I mean, this thing being so wide, you can't really follow the same lines as a lot of other vehicles. Whoa. I am hung up on the skid. Oh, that point right there was getting me. Okay, let's go into uh, four wheel steer mode and maybe we can bring that back in and down and straighten this up. Wow, look at this front tire working. It may not be enough to actually hold it for all this. You can actually see that tire working. Look at that, look at that. Good job, dude. It did work for me, nice. I think I'm gonna leave these on here, print up another set for them trenchers. These things are working great. Let's see if we can get up this. Now this thing is so darn long, it just kind of reaches the top pretty easy. But can it clear the top? Uh, that wasn't so good. Now I got to try to crab steer and drive backwards so I don't roll it. Cause it is actually balanced on the sidewalls. So let's see here. I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna go forwards, steer to the right and throttle at the same time. You ready? Ha 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 ha, nice. Back into four wheel steering. Hey, these are working really good on Thor. Ooh, look at that, yeah. Let's see what you got here, look at that. Nice. I wanna try an obstacle that Thor has never conquered. Thor's been on it quite a bit, but has never actually completed this climb. Because it's so wide that trying to get that to go is just never really works out too well. If I can, if Thor can get this, that would be pretty darn awesome. All right. If I get that back to stay on, which I don't think it is, it's a combination of wheelbase too much. I'm gonna go to Try to trust some crab on this thing. It's a combination of a lot of things as to why Thor just 
doesn't get this climb. Wheelbase, everything is just not. Ugh. Thor has never got that. And one more climb just because Thor has never completed this one either. And I kind of like, yeah, I want to try it. Right, looking good, looking good. This is the Sam obstacle, by the way. We tried this in the 18 crawler challenge and Thor was the closest to getting it. I think Sam got it, but it wasn't like, you know, well, it did make a difference, didn't it? All right, if I can get that front right to hold, which it's not. When I get that tire to go into, oh, it's not gonna go. All right, so let's go back to four wheel steering here. Oh, sorry. There we go. Oh, that back is working. Wow. Come on, Thor. You got to get this thing at least once in your life. Tires are working pretty good. A little bit off on the line here. Yeah, we're way off on the line. Let's see if I can get it back over to where it's supposed to be. There we go. Try to get that middle back in over top of Sam there. Come on, come on. That long wheelbase just does not. Come on, baby. Come on, let me get four wheel steer, front steer only. Dude, whoo! Took some work, but good old Thor made it finally. Why didn't you do that in the competition, there, big guy? I'm happy with how these turned out. Now, I do got to say, I did notice a little bit of insert shifting on these wheels, okay? So, if that's the case, if you experience that, a little bit of E6000 to lock it in place. I mean, you could take these 35 millimeter inserts, use them on 40 millimeter wide wheels, and use like some E6000 or something, right? And actually set the offset on the wheel where you want it to be. Typically in crawlers, I like my front to be wider than the back. The front, you can position it, move it around and all that stuff. So take that into account. But these wheels are actually really nice. I mean, they really bring the track width in and I think I'm gonna keep them on here, but I've got another set of 35s on the printer. If they sell, then you'll get them. If not, then I'm gonna use them. I'm, I'm gonna put them into the trenchers or the J Concepts. I kinda of wanna try the J Concepts with a little bit of slop at the tread. I think with that, I'll be able to get like a super soft kind of a thing, you know, cause that's kind of the design of what they are. But overall, I really like how these turned out. So guys, uh, check that description. I'll link them up down below. Use that link, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and you guys need to go out and crawl your way to a great day if that's possible. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys wanna be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.